questions? Okay. Just um, tell us how we can get in touch with you. Your, um, your website? Our or website or is... Uh, <clears throat> is it on your... Yeah, it should be up by tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the, the first new one. one we, do, we, have, we already have yeah. a website called, yeah. called Free Zone Reno. Yeah, just Reno. Um, yeah, and then uh, we, we're going to put up another one, and we're going to be putting up a couple of more. The um, uh, Laurel Officers want to put, put one up. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a separate website for Laurel Officers and um, see what they're doing on their projects. And uh, so. Uh, the uh, if somebody wants to email me, it'd be Ray at Freezone. No, Ray at um, yeah, Freezone Worldwide. Mm -hmm. Dot info. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, how, how could somebody? Get, there was a, there was a follow up question there. Uh, that oh, yeah. How could somebody get started in in the free zone or get going? Right. Well, there was. Um, there was a question somebody asked me, like, could somebody become a class 12 in the free zone, right? right? Um, the answer to that, unfortunately, is they can't. Unless they tutor under somebody who's mm -hmm. been trained to audit. I mean tutor, I mean, I mean intern. Because you know, when you talk about internships in the church, you have to have an organization. Any training and processing, this is the last thing I'm covering here, any training and processing has to, is a third dynamic activity. It takes a group. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Even me here, you think, well, I just raised, you know, a lot of teen out here. No, I have a, a group of people that back me up. I got people that refer people, people that are here to host when, when I'm in session. Um, I have uh, CSs I can count on that are also in the field, stuff like that. It's a group activity. Now, to train somebody, to train somebody like me or somebody else in the free zone who was trained under LRH, it took a big org. It, it took an ethics officer. A, um, did I need an ethics officer when I first got into Scientology? Yeah. <laughs> when people first start, they need all these terminals. You know, and especially when you talk about the cramming, uh, what do you call it, interning. You need, an, you need a cramming officer, you know, separate from the CS, separate. Because, um, you know, yeah, if you're fully trained, you, you can shift the hats around. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I could like shift my hat and be the CS or shift my hat and, and be the ethics officer to somebody. Um, but, but the beginning guy can't. It's really hard for him to shift his hat, to look at you as your auditor. Um, and then you're doing the evaluation for them, or you're doing an ethics cycle for them. It's, it's hard for them to do that. Um, not unless you're an experienced um, PC and you're up the bridge, and then you can may, maybe do it. So could someone become a class 12? Unless you're tutored directly under someone, yes. Uh, but right now, uh, yes, I have a course room, uh, and I, th I know a couple other course rooms in the free zone, but there's no org in the free zone. There's no with all those hats, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and the irony of all this is that the organization, Church Scientology, under the guidance of Miscavige, stops and oppresses this to happen. Because if anybody sets up a course room or a Scientology organization. They are quickly um, threatened for suits, copyrights. Okay. So a lot of these guys have to call it something else. Mm -hmm. So who created all these years? Who created all the score groups? It was himself by suppressing the field. See, so not letting people get on with it, uh, he suppressed the field, and of course there's no field. There's only one. Actually, there's only one org, the way I see it, and that's FLAG. Everyone else is a Division VI feeder in the FLAG. You know, even the orgs have become feeder groups in the FLAG. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have that, that kind of thing. So, um, uh, yeah, you have to tutor under somebody who's, who's done it, who knows what they're doing. Um, because um, 
the evidence is that there, that there is no big groups. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're all independent in the free zone. Well, we're all independent together then. We, we can look at it that way. <laughs> we come together with the conventions. And, uh, um, but I think we, if we all network mm -hmm. together and work together, say somebody knows how to do ethics, right. say somebody knows how to do a particular rundown, uh, you should be referred and um, not not sit there and try to pretend to do the rundown when you haven't even been trained to do it. Either get trained to do it or give it to some give that PC to somebody who's been trained to do it. You know, um, so that this is what I'm trying to promote with with worldwide free zone worldwide and um, with all the people I work with to try to get along and network. You know, and I do that with with uh, some key other auditors in the field and have inspired other auditors to go out and audit and uh, they have been doing that before they were just sitting around watching TV. <laughs> Alright, well that's it for now. Uh, we'll do another question and answer period later, but um, thank you very much. Thank you.